Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on Java interview question and answers on static concept. In this session, I'm going to explain most frequently asked interview questions on static concept. Let's go ahead and start. The first one is what is static keyword in Java and different usages? Fundamentally, we need to remember that whenever we say static keyword in the Java, it is basically for efficiently um, uses of the memory management. So static can be used in different ways in the Java programming language. First one is the static variable, static method, static block, and static nested classes. First question is what is static variable? If you declare any variable as a static, which is known as a static variable. Static variable basically used for the efficient memory usage. Now let us consider we have two employee objects, EMP1 and EMP2 those having like a employee id and employee name and emp2 also having the employee id and employee name now whenever we say instance variable for each instance there will be a separate memory allocated in the heap but now let us consider for each uh, for the employee uh, the uh, the common attribute is going to be the company now let us consider in the company we have thousand employees all of them there will be a common attribute that is the company if you if you don't use that company as a static variable then what is going to happen is there will be a thousand copies uh, of the memory needs to be available for the each instance for that company that is the reason what we are going to do is we are going to declare the company as a static variable then how many objects you are going to create all those objects are going to be use the shared uh, variable that is company now what happens is only one copy will be available in the class area and that variable will be shared for the all the instances which are you are going to create for the employee objects now static variables are shared across all the instances of a class now static variable gets memory only once in the class area at the time of class loading and static variable is all often we are going to use with the final keyword for example, once you define any uh, uh, variable, then you want to assign that particular um, variable with a value and that is going to be common or it not going to be changed, then always we go with the final. And also we can access static variables using the class name. In order to access the, um, in order to access the static variable, we use the class name instead of the instance. But even we can go with the instance also, but it is not recommended. Okay, I am going to explain all these things with an example. For now, let us try to understand the concept. The next one is what is static method? So whenever you declare any uh, method with this keyword as a static, then that is called as a static methods. And static methods are belongs to the class rather than the instance. And static methods only access the static variable you cannot access the non-static variable from the static context and if we come to the real-time usage most of the utility methods which are defined in the application those are going to be a static method and also static method can be accessed through the class name that is class name dot method name Again, you can create an instance of it and you can access the static method, but that is not the recommended approach. And another advantage of the static method is if you want to change the value for the static um, variable, which is de uh, defined at the uh, class level, in the static class or static method, you can change that value. Okay, so that is what it means by the static method. Next, let us talk about what is a static block. So static block is a group of statements which are going to be executed while loading the class into the memory by the class loader. Now static block is basically used to initialize the static variables and also if you want to perform any complex manipulations or the initial uh, manipulations while assigning a static variables to the um, while assigning the static variables we generally go for the static block. And also, if you have any static resources which needs to be allocated only once while loading the class, then those set of logic you can implement in the static block. And the next one is what is static nested classes? 
So a static class that is created inside the other class is known as a static nested class. For example, if we take here, class is a outer class is there. In this, we have a one um, static variable we have defined. And inside that, we are defining a static class inner and which has the method. Now, the advantage of the um, static nested class is even though you can define any variable as a private in the outer side class, that variable can still accessible in the static nested classes. For example, here input, if you are, we are defining a input variable, a static uh, variable as a private, but inside the nested static class, you can access this variable. So that is the one of the uh, advantage of creating a nested uh, static nested classes. Now, static class can have access to the private static variable from uh, which are declared outside the class. But one thing we need to remember that you cannot declare a static variable for the outer class. That means here you cannot declare a class as a static, but inside the class you can define a class as a static class. Now, there are a few more other uh, important questions related to the uh, static. First one is, the static variables are thread safe. So, as we know that static variables are the class level variables, that means how many objects you are going to create for that class, all are going to be used the same uh, copy of the static variable. Hence, these are the not thread safe. So, whenever you are handling the multi-threading environment, you need to make sure that implement the proper synchronization or the locking mechanism in order to protect these resources. Otherwise, you may end up with the data inconsistency. Next one is, can we overload st static method? What is meant by overloading? One or in, in a class, more than one method will have the same name with different parameters is known as a over method overloading. And Static method, you can overload as many uh, times. And can we overload the main method in Java? Yes, you can overload the main method. But JVM, whenever JVM trying to execute the main method, it will look for the exact syntax for public static void main string ARGS. Can we use this or super in the static concept? We cannot use this or the super. This is because because this is referring this is referring to the current object, and super is going to refer to the, the your parent of the object. But static is always pointing to the class. Hence, you cannot use this or super keyword in the static concept. Next one is: Can we use the static variable in the non-static method? We cannot use stat can we use static variables in the non static method yes because non static method in the sense those are the instance methods instance method means once you have created an object then static variable can be accessed because static variables are going to be initialized before it is creating an object itself that means by the time you create an instance for a class, already static variables and static block and static methods will be executed and those are available for the instance methods. Hence, you, yes, but reverse is not possible. That means you cannot use non-static variables in the static method. And next one is, can we override static methods? Static methods cannot be over overridden because they are part of the object state rather than belongs to the class whenever you say overriding subclass and superclass will have the same method signature then what is going to happen is subclass will override the superclass functionality but if you see the statics static is always belongs to the class hence there is no way you can override the static methods and finally we have the concept of the static import static import is a feature which was introduced in the java 5 so with the help of the static import, what you can uh, you can access the static members or the methods of a class directly without referring the class name or any object. For example, if you are using the um, if you are using before uh, Java 5, 
in order to execute the pi what you are going to do is math dot math is a static um, pi is a static basically uh, static member so math dot pi start time that is how you are going to access in order to perform this type of uh, in order to access the static variable or the static methods but from the java 5 onwards you can directly use the static member without referring the class because while as part of the import you are going to use the static import import static java dot lang dot math dot pi so you can directly use pi in your program similarly if you want to calculate the power of a, a particular number then you can directly use the math dot power you already uh, imported as a static hence you can directly use the power in our program and let us go and try with an example whatever the concept i explained questions we can see with the programmatically now we have a class employee in this employee we have employee id and employee name these are the instance variables and static whenever you define any variable as a static that is called as a static variable and another one we are using the final final whenever you use the final once you define a static final that means that value is going to be fixed you cannot change anywhere else now if you see here string department i declare this uh, variable as a uh, define variable as a static so how many objects you are going to create for this employee only one copy will be available for the department okay now if you see the first concept what we have explained is the static variable we have seen and next one is static block so static block you are just going to define a keyword static and then open curly braces close curly braces this is called as a static block and inside that you can define as many statements as you want so this statement will be executed only once as part of the this class is loading into the memory by the class loaders okay so here what i have executed is system.out.println static block is executed and then i updated the department to the platform because static variable only two places you can update either in the static block or in the static method so i updated the department to the platform and then i printed one statement because the department has been updated in the static block and then we have the static method in this also we are updating the department and the corresponding statement we are printing and the third one is the this is called as a um, static nested class we have the employee is a outer class inside that i have defined a inner that is static class inner in this method in this uh, we have a method that is public void test now i have printed one system dot print ln but if you see here department department whatever you have defined it is a private but still even though the whatever the variable he declared as a in the outer class as a private still you should able to uh, access that particular field in the inside the static nested class and then we are just printing the uh, statement of it now if i go ahead and run this program in order to run what we have done is in this we have the main method there are two ways you can access the static methods are variable but always recommended approach is whenever you are using a, any um, static variables are the methods always refer through the class name if you see here employee dot company company is nothing but the static variable similarly employee dot static method because this is the static method i have defined that is the reason we can directly call using the class name okay and then in order to execute the nested um, class static nested class we are going to refer employee dot inner i am creating an object you call it new employee dot inner and then we are calling the test method because test is defined inside the static nested static class so now let us go ahead and run this program run as java application then if you see here initially the employee dot company it is a google and then static block is executed and then department updated in the st in the um, let me go here and now if you see here static block i updated the department to the platform is done and then we are calling the static method so static method executed in the static method we again we updated the department to the qa and then finally it executed the nested class whatever you have static class it has executed now another way what you can do is let me comment out this line 
these two lines and another way what you can do is you can create an object for the employee and through the reference also that means through the instance of the employee also you can execute you can refer the static variables now let me run this program again if you see here output is same but if there are warnings it is giving in the eclipse itself if you see here static field static field employee dot company should be accessed in a static way similarly the static method static method from the type employee should be accessed through the in a static way so always recommended approach is you always use the class name dot variable or the method for the static methods or the static variable and it is even though you are going to that means system will allow you to by using the uh, instance also you can refer or you can access the static variables or the methods but recommended approach is always use the class dot uh, sorry uh, class name dot static variable or static method and another example what i'm uh, what i have done here is in order to just show that we can override we we can overload the static method i have created a another method with the same signature of the um, main method but only argument uh, here it is a string here it is a integer array so it is still possible so that means static methods can be overloaded but overriding is not possible okay hope you clear with the um, concepts and uh, interview questions related to the static Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.